Little pre wad go wad, baby. Let's go. Supposed to lift your butt off the ground for this one, but it's too painful. Ah. Oh, that is nasty. Ten seconds. Change sides. You know how I get these ideas and then I can't let them go? Well, today's idea was to do grace, but um, I can't drop the barbell here. Neighbors don't like that too much. Normally when I do grace, I do singles, 30 single clean and jerks. So I was wondering while I was uh, stretching there, I was wondering, I wonder how many clean and jerks I can do unbroken without letting go. Just unbroken, max set at 60 kgs. So I think I might do that. If I do enough, if I do like between 15 and 20 say, then maybe I'll just finish off the 30. But we'll make that call when we get there. I'm gonna try the uh, Justin Medeiros thumb tape wrap here. I don't know if you guys saw it on Craig's, Craig's vlog, but he goes over the top like that and then he goes around. Apparently that's the money. That does feel extremely strong. Okay, that could be a game changer actually. Okay, it's time to go. What I like about these little challenges is it gives me that, um, that pre-game nerves. They don't normally get when you're just training. This definitely gives me that kind of pre-open workout vibe. It's yuck, but it's good. So we're going for a max unbroken set of clean and jerks at 60 kgs. I'm gonna, my goal is 15. My goal is 15 unbroken reps. And I reckon towards the end, I might have a split jerk. My split jerk's stronger, obviously it's a lot slower. So I'll start with the push jerk and then maybe switch to the split jerk towards the end. The goal is 15, anything more is a bonus. And then we'll make the call when we get there, whether we continue and finish 30. I'm not sure how the last, <laughs> the last 10, 15 will look because I can't dump the bar, so they'll have to be tap and go as well. So anyway, let's just go. It's 15 reps, you can do it. Just 15 reps. Don't put it down. Okay, no idea. Wah! Oh my gosh, two more. Why was that so hard? Oh mate, I got COVID about a week and a half ago. It didn't last long, the symptoms lasted for like two days. But just the fatigue has lasted longer. It's the only symptom that's lasted is just feeling tired. And my lungs are flat. That's my excuse anyway. Anyone else drink sparkling water when they work out? Well it is me. So refreshing. Ah. Definitely makes you feel bloated, but you just burp it out, you know? Oh, I haven't made a video in so long. Don't even know what I'm doing. What is up, you 10,000 sexy beasts? 10,300 sexy beasts. Welcome, if you're new here, by the way, welcome to the Sexy Beast Tribe. The best tribe on YouTube, the strongest tribe on YouTube. My name is Vakey, and uh, I'm just happy to be here, man. Tia Claire Toomey, she's done it. She has done it. She is going to be competing in the 2022 Winter Olympics in bobsledding. What a woman, man. 
Tia Klee Toomey went to the Olympics, the Summer Olympics in 2016 for Olympic weightlifting, took 14th. Then in 2018, she won the Commonwealth gold in weightlifting. She's got five CrossFit Games titles, and now she's going to the Winter Olympics to do bobsledding. And to my shock and my horror, I was looking up the best Australian athletes of all time, and I found a few different lists. Um, I think GQ. I found this list of the 50, 50, the 50 greatest Australian athletes. Uh, granted, this was back in 2019, but still, I couldn't see Tia Claire Toomey's name in the top 50 greatest living athletes in Australia. Look, there are amazing athletes in Australia and around the world, but there are not many athletes that can perform at a high level, achieve great things across multiple different sports that are vastly different to each other. Um, and Tia Claire Toomey's done that. So um, I really hope that we have a updated greatest Australian athlete list come up very soon, because I would argue that she's right up there as one of, if not the greatest athlete in Australia. So congratulations to Tia and her partner, Ash. I know nothing about bobsledding, but I believe it's the two women bobsled. Um, and they look incredible in their black rogue outfits and their black rogue um, sleigh, sled. The only bobsledding I've ever watched is Cool Runnings. I used to love that movie as a kid. But uh, you can bet your flippin' undies I'll be watching the Winter Olympics bobsledding to see how Tia performs on a world stage in this brand new sport that she's only been doing for the last year or two. So the Winter Olympics starts in Beijing in like, it starts on the 4th of Feb. What is that, two weeks away? It starts like two or three weeks. It goes all the way to the 20th of Feb. I'm not sure exactly when the bobsledding is happening in there, but the CrossFit Games Open starts on the 24th of Feb. So, um, man, Tia, just cutting it fine, you know? Doing the Winter Olympics, straight into the Open. Um, if she can win the CrossFit Games this year, you know, after dedicating so much time and effort to bobsledding, that just makes it such, even more of a great, achievement you know i've got no doubt that you'll win the cross the games this year but doing it off the back of training for a different sport and dedicating so much effort and time and focus on this sport um, i'm sure it must affect her preparation that you would normally would put in as a cross the games athlete sure there might be some crossover between the two sports but um, i can imagine there's a lot of sacrifice when it comes to not working on certain things that you would as a cross the games athlete to dedicate to more specific skill type work for bobsledding I don't know what I'm talking about, but I imagine that's probably close to the truth. <laughs> Look, I know that CrossFit is not the national sport of any country by a long shot. It probably won't be for a long time, if ever. But who do you think are some of the greatest athletes in the world, maybe in your country? And how do you define that? Is there anyone else? Are there any other athletes that are pushing the boundaries in different sports and are performing at the level that she is? you know, at a, for her country, either the Olympics or at a really high level across multiple disciplines. I don't know. Let me know if you know of anyone like that in your country or in the world that's done that, that's kind of performed well across a spectrum of sports. Because often the, I guess, the sports that are more well-known, the people that earn the good money, the national sports, they obviously get the limelight and they're well-known and, and they make it to the greatest athlete lists. But how do we get someone like Tia Claire Toomey you know, why isn't she on a list of the greatest athletes? It doesn't matter, because she's the greatest athlete of all time in my mind. So there you go, Tia. No, but in all seriousness, how do you define a great athlete? Is it someone who has longevity within one sport? Um, how does that compare to someone like Tia, who's had success across multiple sports? How do you weigh those up? And um, what do you think makes a great athlete? How do you measure that? My tribe, thank you for being here. I feel like this video has been a bit all over the show. In fact, this whole last week has been all over the show. I'm back full-time working with clients, which means not as much time in the week. Also had the vid, the code to the vid, which uh, knocked me out for a bit, but um, I feel like I'm just about back, just about back at 100%. So hope you're training hard. The open is around the corner. I'm gonna get stuck back in this week and uh, I'll bring some content. I shouldn't show you this, that's top secret stuff on there, far around. There might be a new merch drop coming very soon. Okay, you stay sexy, keep roaring love. Don't forget to roar that love, especially in 2022. We need it more than ever, because people are crazy. Feels like the world's going crazy at the moment, but uh, all it needs is a few good people like us to keep the sanity, keep the love flowing, you know? Okay, have a fantastic afternoon, morning, day, wherever you are in the world. 
and I'll see you soon.